My name is Hipparchus. I lived in the second century before the birth of Christ, and I don't think I'd be bragging if I told you that I am the father of the sciences of geography and astronomy. You know, I wrote more than 14 books, but unfortunately they have almost all been lost in the mists of time. I was responsible for the first catalog of the stars, founded the field of mathematics called trigonometry, and even invented the astrolabe. Fortunately, my brilliant successor, Ptolemy, three centuries after my time, inspired by my work, took up where I left off. And nowadays, historians sometimes can't determine what was my contribution and what was his. Ptolemy's manuscript, The Almagest, was the first scientific treatise on astronomy, and his book, Geography, contains the first map of the known world. Geography and geometry both deal with the study of the Earth. Geography is concerned with making visual representations of the Earth, whilst geometry is concerned with measuring it. The shape of the Earth is roughly spherical, Let's forget for the moment that it's slightly flattened at the poles and pretend that it really is a perfect sphere. You probably know, too, that all the points of the sphere are at the same distance from its center. The arrow that you can see now, starting at the center of the sphere and ending at a point moving on the surface, has a constant length. Let's choose an axis for our sphere, a line through the center. When we cut the sphere along a plane that contains this axis, we carve out a great circle, which divides the sphere into two hemispheres. If we chop the sphere up using some sort of guillotine that slices down this axis, we trace out the meridian. These are half circles going from the North Pole to the South Pole of the Earth. And now, if we slice the sphere up along a plane at right angles to the axis, we get a bunch of circles called parallels. So now our sphere is covered by two networks of curves, the meridians and the parallels. One of these parallels should be very familiar. It's the equator, halfway between the two poles. For historical reasons, one of these meridians was chosen to be the principal meridian. It's the one passing through the Greenwich Observatory in England. To specify the position of a point on the Earth's surface, we can start at the point where the Greenwich meridian meets the equator and walk around the equator, a distance measured by an angle called the longitude. Colored red. Then you go up along a meridian some way, measured by an angle called the latitude, colored green.
finally arriving at our desired destination. Any point on the Earth is precisely described by just these two numbers, its latitude and its longitude. Since we need two numbers to specify a location on the surface of the Earth, we say that the sphere is two-dimensional, and mathematicians often call it S2.